This is without a doubt one of the very greatest books on science that I have ever read. Every single idea and procedure was broken down into its component parts very thoroughly. If you have even the slightest interest in learning how other creatures perceive the world, you should read this. It's likely that you were unaware that people are capable of echolocation. On the other hand, other creatures are able to accomplish a great deal more than we are. On Earth, there are countless things to see and touch, hear and feel, smell and taste, as well as electric and magnetic fields. However, every species is encased within its own individual sensory bubble, and as a result, they only perceive a minute portion of the vast universe around them. This book ushers us into a realm that was, until now, incomprehensible to us, the world as it is actually experienced by other animals. We come across beetles that are attracted to fires, turtles that are able to detect the magnetic fields of the earth, fish that fill rivers with electrical signals, and humans that utilize sonar in a manner similar to that of bats. We learn that the scaly face of a crocodile is as sensitive as a lover's fingertips, that the eyes of a giant squid evolve to see sparkling whales, that plants thumb with the inaudible songs of courting bugs, and that even simple scallops have complex vision. All of these revelations were made possible by advances in technology. We gain an understanding of what bees see in flowers, what songbirds hear in their melodies, and what dogs smell when they walk down the street. While we listen to accounts of seminal discoveries made in the field, we also cast our sights forward toward the numerous riddles that remain unanswered. This book demonstrates how a wide variety of animals has a wide variety of senses, but that we humans can only understand how these senses are employed by interpreting them via our own senses. It's not as if this species of animal can hear the best or anything like that. This demonstrates that different animals do not hear sound in the same manner. From the author of the number one New York Times bestseller I Contain Multitudes comes a magnificent tour into the hidden regions of animal senses that will revolutionize the way you experience the world. This book was awarded the Pulitzer Prize and is currently number one in the New York Times bestseller list. Ed Yong, a well-known author and science journalist, takes us beyond the limitations of our own senses in his book An Immense World. As a result, the book enables us to perceive the strands of odor, waves of electromagnetic, and pulses of pressure that are all around us. Because we don't need to go to other locations in order to understand our world, rather, we need to see things from the perspectives of other people, 